The Cavapa dog breed may have developed naturally over time, but in the late 1990s, designer breeders in Australia began purposely mixing Cavalier King Charles Spaniels and Poodles. Breeders aimed to combine the Cavalier King Charles Spaniels' outgoing and peaceful nature with the brains of a poodle. Because poodles sweat less than other breeds, they were chosen to produce a mixed breed for allergy sufferers. Because the Cavapo is a relatively young breed, there are minimal size guidelines. Cavapos are small to medium in size, depending on the size of the poodle parent, as they are a mix of Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and poodle parents. The majority of them weigh 9 to 25 pounds and stand 9 to 14 inches tall at the shoulder. However, many of them can be smaller or larger. Cream fawn, chocolate, gold, chestnut, and white are some of the colors available for Cavapo coats. They can be solid colors, although they are most commonly chestnut and white, or even tricolored. Cavapo's coats are normally short, silky, and wavy or curly. They require weekly brushing, but are less prone to shedding, which is why some allergy sufferers find them to be beneficial. The Cavapo gets along with everyone in the family and enjoys playing around with children. They are, however, little and vulnerable to children who play forcefully. When playing with dogs, children should always be monitored and trained on how to play safely. A Cockapoo is a dog crossbreed created by crossing a Cocker Spaniel with a Poodle, usually a miniature Poodle. The Cockapoo was developed in the United States by designer dog breeders with the goal of generating a healthy companion dog. Hybrid vigor is thought to prevent the crossbreed from inheriting the majority of the health flaws of both pedigree parent breeds. Since the 1960s, Cocker Spaniels and Poodles have been intentionally crossed in the United States. The Cockapoo, like most animal crossbreeds, has a lot of variation in terms of size and look. The coat can be straight, wavy, or curled, and it can be any color or combination of colors. Toy cockapoos are dogs that are less than 12 pounds, miniature cockapoos are dogs that weigh 13 to 18 pounds, and standard cockapoos are dogs that weigh more than 19 pounds. Cockapoos have a wide variety of temperaments and exercise requirements. A dedicated club, the Cockapoo Club of America, was created to promote the crossbreed in the United States. Cockapoos were one of the most expensive dog breeds in the UK in 2021, with an average price of £2,471. The average price in the UK climbed by 168% between 2019 and 2020 as a result of increased demand created by a nationwide lockdown in reaction to the COVID-19 epidemic. A Labradoodle is a crossbreed dog that is developed by breeding a Labrador Retriever with a standard, miniature, or toy poodle. The name was originally used in 1955, although it was not well received at the time. Because certain Labradoodles have the same hypoallergenic coat as their poodle ancestors, they are a wonderful alternative for persons with canine dander allergies. In 1989, Australia's Wally Conran was credited for naming the Labradoodle. The crossbreed was brought to the Royal Guide Dog Association of Australia in Victoria by Australian breeder Wally Conran. Wally thought that combining a poodle's low-shedding hair with a Labrador retriever's softness and trainability would result in a guide dog acceptable for persons allergic to fur and dander. Poodles, Labrador Retrievers, and Spaniels are the only breeds allowed in Australian Labradoodle breeding lines. Early generation breedings result in infusions. Breeds other than Australian Labradoodle are not used in multigenerational breedings. Wool, fleece, and hair coats are the three types of Labradoodle coats. Straight or wavy fleece coats are the most common among Australian Labradoodles. Wool and hair coats are only suitable for Labradoodles of the first generation. The Multipoo is a common hybrid between a Maltese and a Poodle that is recognized for its playful and cuddly personality. They'll fit into any home, whether it's an apartment or a house, a family with children, or an older single. Multipoos are a popular hybrid between a Maltese and a miniature or toy Poodle. Multipoos are friendly and gentle just like their parent breeds. They make excellent therapy dogs and are great companions for empty nesters. 
Because they're purposefully bred and are a blend of two known breeds, cross breeds like the Multipo are generally referred to as designer dogs rather than mixed breeds. People who breed Multipos want to produce a hypoallergenic dog because both poodles and Maltese are non shedders. If you're allergic, though, you should learn more about pet allergies before going out and getting a Multipo. Multipos are an excellent choice for first time or nervous dog owners. They're simple to train and they are quick learners. They also do well in households with elderly individuals or older children who are capable of handling them with care. Long cuddling are a favorite pastime for them, and they are sensitive to their owners' demands and requirements. When interest in poodle crosses began to flourish in the 1980s, the schnoodle was born. The schnoodle was created with the intention of being a low-shedding, low-dander family dog. Although the schnoodel hasn't achieved the same level of popularity as other designer breeds, it does have a loyal fan base and a high demand for schnoodel puppies. The schnoodel is a happy, clever dog. This designer dog is described as forever joyful, and its greatest joys include playing and hanging out with its family. It was bred to be a companion dog, but it's already proven itself in agility and as a therapy dog. It's a great jogging partner and its enthusiasm for physical activity will motivate you to get out of the house. It will bring love and laughter into your life and lap. The schnoodle is as loyal as a schnauzer and as playful as a poodle. A schnoodel, like its schnauzer parent, has a protective nature and makes an excellent watchdog. Because there are three poodle sizes and three schnauzer sizes, schnoodles can come in a variety of sizes. The multitude of possibilities has resulted in a fascinating variety of hybrids. Schnoodles have traditionally been little dogs, however, the recent addition of the giant schnauzer and standard poodle to the mix has resulted in a dog with a temperament that is distinct from the small, cuddly schnoodle. The schnoodle, like any other dog, requires early socialization. When they're young, they're exposed to a wide range of people, sights, noises, and experiences. Socialization is important for your schnoodle puppy to develop into a well-rounded dog. Enrolling it in puppy kindergarten is a terrific place to start. Regularly inviting visitors over and taking it to crowded parks, dog-friendly stores, and leisurely strolls to meet neighbors will all help improve its social skills. A Golden Doodle, also known as a Grudel in Australia, is a dog crossbreed created by crossing a Golden Retriever with a Poodle. The crossbreed was first widely developed in the 1990s, and it comes in three different size types, each corresponding to the poodle size variety chosen as a parent. It can typically weigh between 15 to 80 pounds. Golden Doodles exhibit the intuitive and people-oriented attitude of golden retrievers while benefiting from the highly intelligent personality of poodles and their allergy-friendly coat. Designer dog breeders in Australia and the United States began crossing golden retrievers and poodles in the 1990s, redefining the term golden doodle to characterize the cross, though the term grudle is also used. Golden doodle is a combination of the word golden from the golden retriever and labradoodle, a portmanteau of Labrador retriever and a poodle. Poodles and golden retrievers were intentionally bred before the 1990s, with Monica Dickens, the great-granddaughter of Charles Dickens, crossing the two species in 1969. It's possible that the cross will produce a healthier animal than either of the parent breeds. The Golden Doodle's breeders set out to create a viable alternative to the popular Labradoodle. Originally, only standard-sized poodles were used to breed Golden Doodles, however, later designer breeders began using little kinds of poodles to make smaller versions of the crossbreed. Golden Doodles can have a wide range of appearances, sizes, and coats depending on their breeding generations and the type of poodle parents they have. While most Golden Doodles have similar characteristics, each individual Golden Doodle may have a distinct appearance and disposition. Golden Doodles feature oval-shaped eyes, round skulls, broad muzzles, thickly feathered tails, and drop ears. Due to their retriever ancestry, Golden Doodles have a long, muscular frame with a deep chest and wide stance. The Golden Doodle can be bred from any of the standard, miniature, or toy-sized poodles, 
and the offspring are available in three sizes, which are large, medium, and miniature golden doodles. Large golden doodles stand 20 to 24 inches tall and weigh 50 to 80 pounds. Medium golden doodles stand 17 to 20 inches tall and weigh 40 to 50 pounds, and miniature golden doodles measure up to 20 inches tall and weigh 15 to 35 pounds.